Sonny. Speaking to me? Yeah, I, I, I thought uh, I got a letter from Miss Nancy Evans. I'll give it to her. Uh-uh, no, she's got to sign for this herself. It's registered. Okay, inside. Well, it looks like another sellout today. That's good. Are you girls decent? Yeah, come in. Letter for you, Nancy. Oh, thanks. Are, are you Nancy Evans? Yes. It seemed kind of young to be boss of a circus. I'll soon get over that. Mm -hmm. She's thinking of growing a beard to give her dignity. Come on, sample package. Our public awaits. I, I hear tell this is a mighty fine show. We think so. Yeah. I, do I have to take your word for it? Compliments to the management. Thanks. I, oh, I, I hope you didn't think I was hinting. Not at all. I hope you enjoy it. Hot diggity. George, what do you think of this? Well, it's a break for you getting rid of that white elephant. I'll write and close the deal immediately. I'm not going to sell, George. Why not? It's like finding the money in a reuse of place you've never even seen it. I know, but after all, Grandfather left it to me. Besides, I don't need the money. Well, it's your ranch, but I still think you're being foolish. Girl's got a right to be sentimental once in a while. There's my cue. Hello, Steve. Hello, Nancy. Did she get the letter? Yeah. Well, what's the matter? Didn't she fall for it? Well, you better have Abbott write to her again and boost the ante. No, Di, she doesn't need the money. Well, I guess she's right at that. Business is pretty good. That's just the trouble. Business is too good. But you know, if the show started losing money, she might have to sell the ranch. Yeah, she might. Now let me try to sell your ranch, Nancy. That buyer may still be interested. No, George. The money wouldn't go far among the five of us. At least the ranch means a place to live. Well, I still think you're making a mistake. But good luck. Thank you. You'll see what you can do about getting us some bookings. Remember, you're not a circus anymore. But you might be able to get us some county fair dates. I'll do my best. I know you will, George. I don't know what I would have done through all this if you hadn't stood by. Forget it. I'll be seeing you soon with good news, I hope. Goodbye, George. This is great. We wrecked the circus to make her sell the ranch, and now she's going to live on it. Oh, no, she's not. Well, what are you going to do? We'll be in Mesquite ahead of the young lady with the reception committee.
We're nearly home, boys. 3M will look mighty good after that set two in Santa Fe. Don't forget, we've been away three months. Most likely, they'll have to dig it out from out of the dust. That is if the malls have left us anything to dig out. Hey! What are you doing, ganging up on me? One baboon at a time. Can a guy change his mind, Lou? Yeah, providing he has a mind to start with. Besides, I ain't playing cards with no guy who's got a moth-eating bath mat for a partner. Get him out of here. He ain't my monkey. He don't mean nothing to me. That's funny, you look alike. <laughs> Now, get him out of here before I forget I'm a lady and start tearing him apart hair by hair. Sounds like she means it, Willie. Come on. Poor Willie. More robe work. the outfit now. Okay. We'll take care of him. I'll see you at the hotel back in town. I tell you, I did see him. That's the craziest alibi I ever heard. What's it all about? They got delusions there in Africa. I tell you, there was a name running wild. Willie, we forgot all about him, poor little fella. <coughs> Get down out of there, you upholstered nitwit. Come on, baby, get in the cage. Get away. Willie, <coughs> come to Papa. <coughs> Put me down, you bad boy. Let him alone. It's his paternal instinct. Now are you convinced? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So we had delusions, did we? The sheriff's going to hear about this. Skip it. Let's get going. Here. Yeah. I want to thank you for helping us. Well, that's all right. It looks like that jinx is still on our trail, Nancy. Jinx? Yes, a series of bad breaks forced my circus to close. We couldn't give a show without having an accident. Well, let's hope from now on things will be different. That's the sign all right, Tony, the W.E. Isn't it beautiful? Hey, gang, take a look at your new home. Hey, ain't that something? Yeah, so quiet and peaceful. I wonder how long it takes to learn how to milk a chicken.
Those are the three who gummed up the works for us. You sure picked a fine bunch to have a running with. Why, they're the musketeers. I've known them for years. And are they tough? You telling us. I don't care how tough they are. We'll show them. Forget about them for the time being. Right now, our job is to get our hands on the W.E. Ranch. Well, here's the old homestead. But it looks like our sign's on the bench. I hope the rest of the place ain't standing on its head, too. <laughs> Here you are, lullaby. Well, I wonder how that circus outfit's doing. You mean you wonder how that girl is doing? Well, it's pretty tough on a kid having to move into a dump like that. Well, don't waste your sympathy. Huh? She's here. Well... well... Maybe we're on the wrong ranch. We're not. They are. Well, what are they uh, doing here? That sign. It was cockeyed. Remember? 3M upside down is... W-E. Come on, let's invite the lady to scram. Let me do it. I'll, uh, you know, sort of break it to her gently. Tactful Tucson, they call him. The big-hearted bouncer. Hello. Hello, Mr. Smith. Nice of you to drop in. Do you live near here? you pick on somebody your own size, you big boy? <laughs> Put him down, you pie-faced ape. <laughs> you heard me. Drop him. <laughs> oh! Out! <laughs> Out! Well, what happened to you? Did you fall in a watering trough? Oh, no. I just thought it was Saturday night. That gal in her menagerie can't get off this place too fast to suit me. I reckon I'd better be moseying along now. Don't look now, but I think the wrong one's leaving. Come over any time. Thanks, I will. Well, did you tell her? Well, not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? Well, look, fellas, the poor kid's had a lot of trouble, and, uh, well, she kind of likes it here. Well, so do we. Well, I just didn't have the heart. I better take care of this. I may not be as tactful, but I'll get results. Look, Lullaby, I was just thinking. Hiya, partner. Hi. What do you think of Nancy's Ridge? Some joint, eh? I always thought so. Howdy, ma'am. Hi, what's your job around here? Well, I'm a cowhand. I chase cows. Ooh, if I could only learn to moo. Well, hello there. Howdy. Your friend, Mr. Smith, just left. He tells me you boys have a ranch near here. Oh, uh, yes, we have. It's going to be nice having you for neighbors. Yes. Uh... What a dump. You can say that again. It's going to be nice having you for neighbors. Come on, lullaby, go to work. Okay, Simon Legree. 
Well, at least they have a decent bed. Mmm, comfortable springs, too. Ah! <laughs> Hundred and one, hundred and two, a black one. Shh, another black one. What in the world are you doing? Counting sheep. I ain't been able to shut my eyes all night. My back feels stiff as a board. Oh, stop squawking and go to sleep. How can I miss flop house for termites? Well, what do you want me to do about it? Sing your lullaby? Sure, if you can swing it. That circus troop will sure be moving out fast after this. Hurry it up. rock a bye baby in the treetop. Hey, I thought she was going to swing. OK, OK. rock a bye baby in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Yeah, man. Hey, fellas. Hey, 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 the huh? barn's on fire. Barn? in this country. From now on, let's mind our own business. Then maybe we won't end up sleeping on strange ranches. Morning, boys. Howdy, Hello. Tony. Hi, Come right Tony. in. Boys, I want you to meet George Ward, Nancy's business manager. These are the three musketeers. How do you do? How are you? All right. Is uh, Miss Evans around? Yes, if you wait a minute, I'll tell her you're here. Fine. Hey, uh... Maybe you boys could tell me why Nancy and the troop came here last night. I thought she'd go to her own ranch. She thinks this is her ranch. Sure, a lucky thing they didn't go to the W.E. last night. Oh, Nancy. Yes? The Mesketeers are here to see you. What, again? You'll have to start charging them rent. <laughs> yes, I guess you're right. That attack last night ties up with those circus accidents. Well, it's a cinch somebody's trying to make trouble for Nancy, but why? I wish I knew. Well, there's one thing certain. She can't live on the W.E. That firing squad might come back. I can't live where? There's a slight mix-up. This isn't your ranch, Nancy. It's the 3M. It belongs to Musketeers. But the sign said... It was upside down. Oh, I'm... I'm terribly sorry. Well, that's all right. Your own ranch is pretty much of a wreck. You folks are all welcome to stay here until you can get started again. I'm afraid I'd wear out my welcome if I stayed that long. Oh, if we could only get some county fair dates. Uh, that's what I came to tell you. None of the fairs will grant us any permits on account of what's happened. Say, I'll bet we could get you one for the Mesquite Fair. The sheriff's a friend of ours. Oh, could you? But you have no equipment or money to buy it. Well, how much did the equipment cost? Oh, about $1,000. Well, Will you uh, excuse us a minute? Now look, fellas, we got about $1,000 in the bank. Yeah. 
But we're saving that to pay off the mortgage. Yeah, I know, but save your breath. This is once we're not going to get hooked. I ain't much on this farm life, but I know this. Never stand near a horse's head when he's eating, and never argue with a cowboy when he's offering you money. Let me handle this. Say, fellas, I think I got her talked into it. Of course, she don't like to take in any outsiders, but if you guys insist... Lil, uh, 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 you will, won't you, Nancy? I will what? Well, the boys were just saying that uh, we'd be glad to advance the money you need. Now, listen here. Here you are, Lullaby. This is awfully generous of you, boys. Isn't it, George? Yes, indeed. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Take it into town and get it recorded. Then go over to the bank and draw the money out for Nancy. I might have known I'd be the fall guy. I'm afraid Lullaby doesn't... Don't mind him. Your ranch is good enough security for us. What's left of it, you mean? Well, now that Mr. Brooke has been kind enough to get us a permit, I'll have to make arrangements. So long. Goodbye, Goodbye. George. So long. There's your thousand. Here's your balance of two dollars and sixty cents. Yeah, don't remind me. Hi, Lullaby. Well, hello, Mike. Say, you're looking kind of prosperous. Well, I can't complain. How about a drink? I got some business to do over at the recorder's office. Oh, that can wait. Haven't seen you in a coon's age. Come on. Well, I am kind of dry. That's fine. Last time I saw you, you wasn't doing so good. Well, since then, I inherited a few dollars. So I went into business for myself. Business? Yeah, you know, buying mortgages. That's why I came down to my old stamping grounds. I thought I might pick up a few good ones around town. Say, now that is a coincidence. You want to buy mortgages? And I got one to sell. Look. $1,500 is pretty steep, Lullaby, but it's a deal. There you are. You won't regret it, none. You made a swell investment. I'd better put this money in the bank. Holy smoke, it's after 3 o'clock. Oh, too bad. I didn't realize the time went so quickly. Now, uh, you better put that money in a safe place. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to get to the ranch with it as fast as I can. Well, so long, Mike. Goodbye, Lullaby, and thanks. Did you get it? Yeah, it was a cinch, and he thought I was a sucker. Has you got the dough on him? Sure. I stalled him until the bank closed. He won't have it long. I'll take the mortgage over to Ward. <laughs> guy. So 
So Rajah's a music lover, eh? And very particular, too. What's his favorite piece, Home on the Range? Nothing but the classics for him. Oh, a highbrow. <laughs> well, I hope this meets with Rajah's approval. All right, Rajah. is well set up. But he'd make a good showing in a trotting race. Maybe he would, but he's not going to. Oh, a snob, too, eh? Well, Nancy, here's a letter for you. The postman just dropped it off. Oh, thanks. Wonder what's keeping Lullaby. I don't know. Should have been back long before this. Anything wrong? No, indeed. Of all the contemptible, underhanded tricks, no wonder you didn't want me to go to my own ranch. That way you couldn't have fleeced me out of the mortgage. What are you talking about? You wouldn't know anything about this. Well, you don't think we'd oh, have stop any... Stop acting. 74,000 is a very nice profit, but you won't get away with it. George will find some way of getting the mortgage back. Don't worry, you'll get it back. And without him, as soon as Lullaby gets here. Miss Evans has been offered $75,000 for a ranch. Give her back her mortgage. I can't. Why not? I sold it in town to Mike Abbott for $1,500. Seemed like a very nice profit. On the road home, I was held up. The money's gone. Why, you nitwit. Listen, Nancy. What I... are you doing? Talking to yourself? That's gratitude for you. If this is a popularity contest, we'd pull exactly three votes. That's what we get for being good Samaritans. We got her into this mess, now we gotta get her out of it. All right, Brain Trust. Where do we start? Well, Mike Abbott must have known about this new dam or he wouldn't have roped big business here into selling that mortgage. Yeah, but Mike never had that much money before in his life. No, he must have been fronting for somebody. Yeah, but who? Well, whoever's causing Nancy all this trouble. The first thing we got to do is have a talk with Mr. Abbott. Cabot registered here? Oh, he was. He checked out this afternoon. He left town. Oh. Well, that finishes that. Let's go. Oh, uh, I'm tired. Let's bunk here. No use going back to the ranch. Hey, what's the idea? Have you gone? Oh, sure. Nothing like 14 hours sleep to keep a fellow on his toes. Yes, sir. Oh, you're uh, staying then? That's right. All right, that'll be a dollar and a half. <laughs> okay. That's uh, room 207, right at the top of the stairs. Thank you. Yep. Hey, what's the idea of hitting the hay at this hour? We're not. But you said... Calm down. I took a look at that hotel register, and your friend Ward and Abbott had adjoining rooms. All right, so what? Well, both names were registered in the same handwriting. So you think Ward might be the guy Abbott was fronting for? That's what I aim to find out.
you sure Ward's in? Yeah. And I can't find nothing but moths. Never mind the wisecracks. Keep looking. Hey, Ward, it's me and Burns. Just a minute. I'm in the town. What are you guys doing here? Waiting for the boss. He's dressing. You're crazy. He's out at the Evans place. There's someone in there. Get it. Beat it, hombre, before we drill you. You mortgage-snatching coyotes, better take a powder. Don't you pull that trigger, you'll land in South Dakota. Give us a break, desperate Desmond. We have something important to tell Nancy. Let them talk. Okay, make it snappy. We just found out who's trying to get your ranch away from me. So you've been looking in the mirror, huh? It's Ward. Don't be ridiculous. He's my business manager and one of my closest friends. Yes, yeah, so the closest he's able to read your mail. We found a letter in his room addressed to you. That was from the state. Don't you see, Nancy? He knew all about that deal. That's why he wrecked your circus. You've got to admit, we couldn't have done that. I suppose you can prove what you're saying. We certainly can. Sure, the letter, Lullaby. I just swore I had that letter. Must have dropped it somewhere. I owe you boys an apology. You're not crooks. You're just crazy. But listen, Nancy. Why don't you go quietly before your keepers get here? But you've got to believe us. The fellow that Lullaby sold that mortgage to was working for Ward. Get out of here. I've had just about enough of this nonsense. We're going to stay right here until we can make you listen to reason. On second thought, maybe we won't. Come on, let's get out of here. You guys, don't overeat. I had more trouble catching them three sardines than I've had to rope in a calf. I wished you had roped a calf. I'll quit squawking. We gotta figure out some way to help Nancy. 
If I was Nancy, I'd be just a little bit tired of our help. Well, we can't let her lose her ranch. Well, what about ours? If we don't get the money to pay our own mortgage, we won't have any place to sleep. Oh, yes, we will. We'll have nice, cozy cells to sleep in for the next 20 years, if Mr. Brooke keeps on being helpful. I can see it now. That post over yonder will have plenty of company. I get it. Reward for the capture of the three musketeers. Wanted for practically everything. That's the answer. What, collecting our own reward money? No, you nitwit. Read it. If we could only win that race, we could clear up everything. But I ain't much good at trotting. No, but Raji is. Roger? Well, he's a circus horse. I know, but he can be taught. I tell you, that horse was a wonder. Well, for once, you're right. He's faster than greased lightning. We'll give him a final workout tomorrow. Well, where? You can't run him here. Well, we'll find some place. Hello, George. What's the good news? Well, Nancy, there isn't any. I've tried every bank in this part of the country, and they all turned me down. You mean to say they wouldn't lend you $1,000 on the strength of that letter? Oh, they claimed the state board's promised to buy property before and then failed to go through with the deal. But I was so sure we could get the money. So was I. Nancy, Nancy! Uh, remember that horse we had? Roger? Yes, he's gone. Gone? It's impossible. He must be around here somewhere. Well, I said to myself, if I was a horse, where would I go? And I went there and he was gone. We searched the whole ranch and we can't find him. Somebody must have stolen him. Well, there's not much more that can happen now. Ah, oh, don't worry. We'll get him back. I'll telephone the sheriff right away. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Gee whiz, that burning dog bites. Well, I can't get a bit of peace around here. Hello? Sheriff's office. Yeah, this is Sheriff Brown. Huh? I wonder where that jack is. No, I was not you. I said I wonder where the pack was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go to Canyon, eh? All right. Oh, oh, I'll be there. 
Goodbye. A nice golf lullaby. <laughs> I'll take him around this time. Say, I thought you said nobody ever used this road. It's a sheriff. Looks like trouble. Well, here's where Roger has to break a record. Right. Come on, boy, come on. Solomon, Solomon, Paradox coming into the turn, neck and neck. Fadeaway coming up strong, he's making a race of it, and here they come. Solomon, Paradox, and Fadeaway. And here comes Fadeaway, ladies and gentlemen. Fadeaway is coming right up on the head. He's, he's got him by a half a length, and here they go into the wire. Paradox, Fadeaway, and Solomon. Well, folks, it's been a perfect day for perfect racing here at the county fairgrounds, and that's what we've had up to now, perfect races and thrilling finishes. We are getting closer each minute to the grand climax of the season. $2,500 sulky race to uncover the year's trotting champion. This is one of the outstanding events of the outdoor season, ladies and gentlemen, here at the carnival. Entered in this contest are Chaparral, Somerset, last season's champion, Pentecost, and that new horse that has caused a great deal of discussion around here, which appears to be the outstanding challenger. I refer to Raja, owned by Miss Nancy Evans. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, correction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is startling news. It appears that Raja will not be with us today. Says he is in cell three at the city jail. Don't know what they ran him in for, maybe picking pockets. At any rate, he will not be here. That is what the note says anyhow, so you might as well stretch him off your programs, ladies and gentlemen. Honest, Nancy, we weren't stealing Roger. I suppose he followed you. No, we were just training him for the race today. Miss Nancy, you just gotta let him run. Yes, sir, runs fast. Why, if I had a horse and he could run that fast, I'd put him in the race. Why don't you? He's a cinch to win. These boys ain't crooks. Just playful, full of mischief. I ain't mad at them if you ain't. Just say the word. I won't. You sure are resentful. Those men are a public menace. Yeah, tough guys. Too tough for this jail. Ain't built for rough going. Look at that. Why, they could be out in no time. Better take them over to the county seat. The county jail is good and strong. There ain't uh, no rule against uh, stopping at the racetrack on the way in. I don't care what you do with them. Just give me my horse. Oh, yeah, the horse. <laughs> yeah, that's something else again. He's evidence. The horse is. No horse. No evidence. Got to take him along. In that case, I'd better go along and prefer charges. Take it easy, Roger. You've got a big job ahead of you. All set? Yep, and don't try any tricks. I'll have you covered all the way. But uh, you better make it snappy because you've only got an hour to get there yet. <clears throat> I thought the Musketeers were in the loose guy. Come on, we gotta stop them. I'll get Burns. We better stick to the main road. Not a bad idea. 
Classic, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come, fit and fine. That is all but Raja, who, as I told you before, will not be with us today, owing to the fact that he is in the Huskow and cannot get out unless he has a good attorney. This time is rather short. It looks rather doubtful. I can't see Raja. Don't be nervous. Be calm, like me, see? He'll make it. The others are lining up out there in the track. They're loosening up, milling around, and in a few moments now, the race will be on. This is the race the countryside has been talking about these last few weeks. Now for a few last moment corrections. Get your pencils ready, ladies and gentlemen. Back him out, lullaby. Almost up, Miss Nancy. Sheriff, look! Raja! Oh. Yeah! Hold everything, folks. I've got another surprise for you. Here comes Raja. Somebody must have bailed him out. Just a minute. Yes, it's Raja. Raja, all right. That beautiful, sleek horse owned by Miss Nancy Evans. The outstanding challenger. Did you hear that? It's Raja, all right, with Lullaby driving. I haven't thanked you, boys. Don't thank us yet. Just keep your fingers crossed. And from present indications, it looks like everybody within a radius of 50 miles is here to see Pentecost defend his title and Raja try to wrest it away from him. Well, this is where we get off. There goes the assembly call. What clown you have? You're here to race. Hey, stop that music! <laughs> Something's happened to Raja. He's waltzing. He's, he's dancing. Well, he's got the race confused with the jitterbug contest. Had a boy swing it, Pappy. <laughs> I hope the band doesn't play during the race. Don't worry, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get a load of Raja. <laughs> Once a circus horse, always a circus horse. Yeah, and he just loves music. <laughs> Come on. Now nah, he's, he's straightened out now, all right. Yes, sir, it looks like we're going to have a race after all. Raja's in it. He's out there with the rest of them. And soon they'll be lining up and coming down the track. 
And there they go. They're off in a bunch and they're coming down strong past the grandstand. Now Bradley is dropping behind. Chaparral holding on to a tiny lead. And Roger coming up strong on the outside. Come on, Roger. Keep going, baby. Pentecost, autonomy and Roger going into the turn. And Roger is burning up the dirt. Fast autonomy on Pentecost heel. Oh, boy, this Roger is everything they said he was. Playing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on over there? Come on. Slow down. Get out of there. Come on. Slow down to a walk. He's doing a two-step. He's treating this thing more like a toe dance than a race. Somebody's blown a bugle over there, selling fish, I guess. And there he goes, and he's tearing it off now. He's tearing it off as he comes up the back stretch, and there he catches up the rest of the herd. Moving up to the main herd. He's through, he's through, and coming strong. Come up on, the leader. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger who won the race, even taking time off to do a little waltz and foxtrot. There he is, the winner, Raja, the $2,500 champion. You boys had better have that fixed. Looks like you're going to have a real circus now. And you can park it in our front yard anytime you want. I'll remember this. We didn't do so bad ourselves. Roger sure pulled us out of a jam. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Oh, that Nancy sure is a swell girl. I reckon we ought to take in her circus sometime. Tucson? I think you got something there. Nancy! Nancy, you forgot something! <laughs> <laughs> 